First, choose the audio clip you want to use for your custom voice. You can download any sound or record your own. Here, I'm downloading one. Let's go! Now we need to convert the audio from MP3 to WAV. For that, choose an online MP3 to WAV converter. Choose the audio file. Set the bitrate to 16, frequency to 32,000 Hz, and audio channels to mono. Then convert and download the file. Next, power on the transmitter. Welcome to Xenox. Let's crash it. Switch warning. Now plug your transmitter into your PC using a USB-C cable. Select the storage option on the transmitter. On your PC, open the transmitter storage. Copy and paste the converted audio file into the sound slash in folder. Make sure the file name is in lowercase letters, short, and without any spaces or special characters. On the transmitter, go to Global Functions and add a new one. Choose a switch you want to use to trigger the sound. Set the function to play track, then select your audio file from the list. Finally, make sure to enable the function, and you're done. If you can't find the file in the play track list, try renaming it directly from the sound slash en folder on the transmitter. Also, if you need to temporarily turn off the voice, you can combine it with a logic switch and special functions, just like this. If you'd like a video on that too, let me know in the comments.